Sea Shepherd is working in the Galapagos together with the Galapagos National Park Service, the Ecuadorian Navy and the Ecuadorian Environmental Police. And our job is to uh, help these authorities to improve their work to stop uh, illegal fishing and poaching inside the marine reserve. One of the biggest threats we have in Galapagos is of course illegal fishing and what we're trying to do with Sea Shepherd is focusing our attention on uh, shark finning of course. Sharks are being targeted throughout the world for their fins and here in the Galapagos they are fully protected. In the last four years I've been working here, we've been, uh, what we've been doing is reinforce the, uh, the existing local uh, law enforcement agencies like the National Park, the uh, Ecuadorian Navy, the Ecuadorian Police. And all our projects are here to, uh, to make sure that they can do, the, do their job better. So we provide them with uh, equipment, we provide them with money, personnel, knowledge, and we try to develop programs together with them. So here in the Galapagos we have several projects running. We have Marcel doing the AES project and the radio project. We have Hugo in charge of the legal project. We have Malena in charge of the, um, of the educational project and also of the uh, canine unit. The uh, canine unit was founded in 2008 and one of the reasons that we founded it was because we had some major busts uh, of, of wildlife smuggling taking place on the continent in 2007 uh, when Sea Shepherd together with the police uh, was able to, uh, to catch about 90,000 sea cucumbers on the continent and about 18,000 shark fins. Sea Shepherd uh, in cooperation with the, uh, with the police, the Ecuadorian police, uh, helped them to uh, set up this unit which is unique in South America. It's the only unit that actually focuses on the detection of uh, illegal wildlife. We've been here in the Galapagos since 2006 and working with the police uh, pretty much from the beginning. So for us, you know, to see the police waiting for us at the dock with the dogs and to do an inspection, it's just a, yeah, it's just a reminder of why we're doing this and, you know, to see, to see them receive us the way they do and, and to see that we're basically just, just, just you know, friends in work. So for, for Ecuador to have the K9 unit inside their boundaries and specifically for Galapagos to have this unit is extremely important. And Sea Shepherd obviously is very proud to be, uh, to be part of this. I'm from Ecuador. Uh, I was born in Quito, the capital of my country. We decided to work on environmental education because we believe that if we do not educate the people, if we do not inform the people what's happening about the sharks, of course they will never know uh, what they have to protect. Malena is doing a really important job here, educating the youth of Galapagos about the uh, sharks. As we've worked in various projects trying to complement each other and, and education is one of the pillars of our work here in the Galapagos. We went school by school, grade by grade, from children that are in the age from 8 to 14 years old. And what we did is to present some videos about how nice the sharks are uh, swimming in the ocean. I also explained to them what, what the things that are, they are facing at the moment, like illegal fisheries, the shark finning, and all those things really shock them. You have to see their faces. Some of them are like almost crying when they see our videos or the pictures that we are showing. And immediately they want to stop that and they want to be part of the solution, like being the warriors protecting the, the, the sharks. Bravo!
Hugo is our legal advisor. He's an Ecuadorian lawyer who, uh, who specializes in criminal uh, environmental law. And he's, he's one of the authorities uh, in Ecuador when it comes to the application of criminal environmental law. So for us as Sea Shepherd to have an environmental lawyer, not only to target the problems that we have here, but also to be of advice to Sea Shepherd is extremely important. I love being a lawyer from as long as I can remember because I simply don't like injustice. I have always had this interest of using um, criminal um, law as a tool for conservation. So it happens that Sea Shepherd shares the same interest. Um, they want to protect the sharks here in the Galapagos. And I told him, well, you know, it happens that I want to see the law being enforced. And if the law says that sharks have to be protected, well, you know, let's join forces and work together for the same cause. And, and you got to realize Ecuador as a country is the first country in the world that has a constitution that gives right, actual rights to nature. So all the laws are in place, but what we're lacking at the moment is, is competent judges to apply these laws. And that, that's what we're trying to accomplish with the legal project. Then we have Marcel Wensveen from Holland. He's in charge of the AES project. We're building a network based on a radio signal. A big network that we're placing all over the archipelago, which allows us to monitor every single vessel movement in the marine reserve. If you need to define very basically what the AES network is in Galapagos, then you have basically three things. You have two control centers. You have the network, which is actually providing the data to the control centers and you have the boats. When we have all nine sites running, we'll have a full network and we'll, yeah, we'll see every vessel that already has AAS. We think that AAS is going to be a major tool uh, to stop uh, poachers even thinking of coming to Galapagos. Today we are on, uh, on Isla Wolf. It's really, really nice weather, which I always like very much in Galapagos. And what you can see behind me is uh, members of the National Park building uh, together with me the site. One of the things that happens a lot here is, uh, is poaching because of the, uh, the, the fact that it's being remote. Building an AAS site here uh, will take care of uh, receiving the AAS signals in the northern part of the archipelago. And why it's important? Darwin and Wolf are known for the amount of sharks that you can find here. The most uh, expensive dive trips to go and see hammerhead sharks, big schools of hammerhead sharks or whale sharks, are to Isla uh, Darwin and Isla Wolf. And, and therefore it's very important to protect this area. It's very remote.
Ecuador as a country is, is the country with the highest biodiversity uh, per square kilometer in the world. So there's more animals, different species of animals and plants uh, per square kilometer on average in Ecuador than in any other country in the world. And of course the Galapagos is a very important part of that. And, and you know, it's, it's really important that we protect the Galapagos because we have so much to protect and therefore so much to lose.